changes like acanthosis nigricans. That means hyperpigmented velvety skin changes usually found on the neck of the neck, in the axilla or beneath the breast. They This is Dr. Lakhana. Today I would like to tell you about PCOD or PCOS. What is this PCOD? It is a short form. The long form is polycystic ovarian disease or polycystic ovarian syndrome. In simple words, PCOD it is a lifestyle disease with genetic origin. The genetic origin for PCOD and diabetes is found to be same. It is also a lifestyle disease that means it is exaggerated by our unhealthy habits. Way back in 1935, the American gynecologist Dr. Irving Sten and Dr. Sten Leventhal have described it for the first time. That's why in the past it was also known as Stain and Leventhal syndrome. Now, why it is important to know that somebody has got PCOD or not? Because it has been found that 10 to 30 percent of women are affected by PCOD in all stages of the life. I can describe PCOD as a villain in the woman's life, disrupting their quality of life in all their stages starting from adolescent to postmenopausal age group. Now, how to diagnose that somebody has PCOD? I have found a checklist. They may present with the menstrual irregularities like oligomenorrhea, that is scanty and delayed periods. They may present with polymenorrhea, frequent menstrual cycles. They may present with menorrhagia, heavy menstrual cycles or amenorrhea, complete absence of menstrual cycle or sometimes they may also have normal menstrual cycles. The other symptoms are hirsutism, abnormal hair growth. They may present with acne or male pattern baldness. They may have obesity. There will be a tendency in weight gain and difficulty in losing the weight. They may present with the skin changes like acanthosis nigricans. That means hyperpigmented velvety skin changes usually found on the neck of the neck, in the axilla or beneath the breast. They may have moles or skin tags. They may present with psychological symptoms like mood swings or lethargy or feeling low energy levels at all the time. If married, they may face infertility. And in the latter part of the life, they will have diabetes mellitus, hypertension, and coronary artery diseases early in their adult lives. Now, we have diagnosed that somebody has got PCO. What next to? How to manage? First of all, there is no need to go panic and feel that somebody has got a terrifying disease. Somebody has got PCOD, it simply means that they need to live a disciplined life. Discipline with diet modification and discipline with regular exercise. I am emphasizing this factor, diet modification and regular exercise are basic pillars in the managed short term as well as long term management of PCOD. Now the question comes, how to modify the diet? It should be shifted from high carbohydrate diet to low carbohydrate diet or in other words it should be shifted from high glycemic index diet to low glycemic index diet. What is glycemic index? Glycemic index means how rapidly the food turns into sugar when it uh, food turns into sugar in the blood. Examples for high glycemic index food are white rice, sweets and all the junk food. Examples for low glycemic index food are brown rice, whole wheat, millets like ragi, jawar, bacha. So 
Now it is clear what is advice for the PCOD people to take the low glycemic index food. That means they can they should take the all the millets, whole wheat, brown rice, plenty of vegetables and fruits. What to avoid? The high glycemic index food. That means white rice, sweets and all the junk food and bacon food. They should avoid taking pasta, burger, pizza, etc. Next tip for the PCOD people is to drink plenty of water. Water helps in detoxification of the body. And next is regarding the exercise. 30 to 45 minutes of exercise is must for all PCOD people in all stages of life. It has been found that 30 to 45 minutes of exercise is equal to one pill of metformin, which is used in the management of PCOD. Exercise helps in decreasing the weight and decreasing the stress, decreasing the cravings for food and it helps in increasing the insulin sensitization in the peripheral tissues. Next year advice is to live a stress-free life. Stress has become a part and parcel of our life in the present day scenario. What is important is to live, to learn to face the stress. Yoga, music, meditation and keeping a hobby will help you to face the stress easily. The rest of the management of PCOD depends upon age and need of the patient and that will be done tailor-made by your hand Thank you.